Dear friends, my name is Daniel. I'm artistic director of this project. And I would like uh, to say that I'm really glad to see you here. Uh, so many bright and friendly faces. And uh, I would like to, I, I'm very happy to host this uh, yeah. European Media Art Platform uh, final networking event at our cozy and friendly space. And I am grateful for you and especially personally for Yanis for opportunity to collaborate. And taking this opportunity, I would like to talk about some of our initiatives to make to become closer, to know better each other. Yeah, uh, I would like to talk about the Psi Foundation. Uh, we decided to initiate this project last year and we have the goal to support local art, to connect science, art and uh, technology and uh, develop art in Cyprus and present local artists in Europe and invite European artists to Cyprus to make our communities closer. That's a photo from our incredible space. Sometime it will appear on our screen. The name Psi Foundation uh, is taken from the clarity of all and significance. We combine different aspects, mathematics, physics, and psychology, and represent our goals. <coughs> You can see this building, this amazing industrial heritage, the monument of the brutalism, which is located between Old Port and Newport and Limassol in front of the sea on the first, uh, it's, it's about 100 meters uh, from the sea line. And previously this building was used, oh sorry, <laughs> was used for the carrier storage. And now we try to change the mission of this building and at the same time we try to preserve this building as it is and add uh, some values, additional values, to create some additional values to this industrial heritage. And the final goal to open this space for the public. Yeah, you can see the scheme of this building. Yeah, it's an interesting story behind this building. It was designed in 1961 by the local technical bureau of Tec Tecton, with architect Philos Polyneridis and engineer Andreas Papadopoulos. And interesting tale that the building facade geometry reminded the later PC, or work later PC, when reflected horizontally. It seems like architect <laughs> intended for this later to be reflected in the city. Uh, it's interesting that we can find the connection between this building, with the shape of this building, with the Greek language, with the Cypriot culture, and with our mission. Yeah, you can see how it looks like, the interior of this building. Yeah, it's about 1,500 meters square, it's open space. It's incredible. Everyone who entered into this building pronounced the same sound. It's so, wow. And this building reflects wow, 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 and dialogue start. I think it's a good opportunity for every artist to create some message, and this message will repeat again and again and again for the visitors. Yeah, briefly, our goals. Promoting contemporary art in connection with art and technology in science, collaboration, knowledge and exchange, and advancing education, public engagement. Yeah, and briefly about the plan of the foundation activities for 24. Yeah, on the June 1st, we will open this space for the exhibition for the private collection of the local. 
organizer, Nikos Patikis, who is a contemporary, who is a collection of contemporary Cypriot arts. And you can visit this exhibition until the October 30th. Uh, one important thing. Additionally, the Foundation uh, will support Cyprus Pavilion at Venus Pignale this year. Yeah. To provide some specific uh, opportunities to win some special prize of the Venus Pignale. Yeah. And after the exhibition of uh, private collection, uh, building will under reconstruction and we open uh, as a cultural uh, center after renovation. Yeah, and we are interested in collaboration, in communication, and we do doing to all our activities to support culture, to be the part of the local community, to support community, and to become closer. And uh, I invite you to make a photo of our contacts and we will be happy to receive your proposal, your ideas for collaboration. And now I want to invite to the stage my colleague, Tali. He will make uh, advertise, advertise uh, projects of home space. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. I'm Vidali, I work at COVA, and our team are glad to see, to meet so many professionals from the media tech industry, industry which we also are very interested in. And I would like to take my chance to explain a few words about the place where we are, the COVA. COVA is an uh, initiative established by Exus. Now it's multifunctional space, and uh, in the future it will be big, mixed use development and also we are a production team and we organize events. Uh, we organize different types of events such as for public, for families, for business and others. And I want, want to show you the one. It was a party type, but we, it helped us to illustrate how we work with new media tech. Uh, with costumes, with thematization, with uh, uh, yeah, with thematization, uh, it's uh, a way how we can bring for let's say standard type of the uh, evening event the feeling of the new media technologies and new media festival. I will show.
uh, not only on behalf of Container, the curatorial team I'm a member of, but also my personal behalf. Uh, first and the biggest thank you goes to Ianis, Helen, and the whole NIM organization for being such an amazing host and for organizing this whole conference. Please, big applause for them. My second thank you goes again to Danila and Cola Company and for, for supporting our ideas, for hosting and producing tonight's event. And last but not least, a big thank you goes to the whole IMAP network for all the initiatives and activities in the field of European New Media Art and the European Union that supports the ideas. I said I curated in a way, I uh, love to say I co-curated because we were also discussing about a program together and making decisions together. And uh, when we were conceptualizing the program for tonight, we all understood and agreed on the importance of including and, and getting on board local artists. So um, in order to make the bridges between the local scene and international uh, new media scene, we invited Marinos, and I hope I pronounced the surname good, Katsu Michalis. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we didn't invite him, of course, only because he's local, <laughs> but because he's a great artist, he's a professor, um, and also an important and very active uh, participant of the local new media art scene. Moreover, the topics he deals with and uh, his audiovisual performance uh, for tonight unfolds around really fits the, the, the ideas and the narratives we aim to tackle with tonight's program. And it is by no doubt the question uh, and the topic of the sea of our uh, only single planet we live in and the uh, environmental issues. Uh, before I invite Ma Marinos, I would just like to say that the audiovisual performance we are about to explore and enjoy is only one part of a way larger hybrid project and research. So I would ask Marinos to join me on stage and to present a bit more what it is about. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Davorka. Sorry, they like a little bit yeah, somewhere here. Uh, okay, I will try to keep it short. It's uh, this is a rather special project for me uh, that I'm about to present for a number of reasons. I guess the most important one is that it's the first time I'm actually presenting it below the Arctic or the subarctic region. Until now, I've only performed that in countries of the up north. Uh, it's been performed in Bode, Tours, Halm, uh, Copenhagen, uh, I think uh, where else? Aarhus, and anyhow, only in cities of the north. This is a project that emerged in the context of another broader project called Stories of Lights, Fairies, and Fish, that was back then funded by the Nordic Arts Council. Uh, so the broader project concerned the idea of exploring mobilities of people, fish, and machinery. And my particular artistic interpretation of this is this project, which is a rather complicated process and project that I worked on this for something like three years. I traveled a lot in the North Nordic region and uh, realized, I guess the idea was to, to explore the landscape, the fish, the people that live there, and kind of understand how I make sense of this territory of the world. And I followed a very particular approach that was the first time I kind of engaged in this, I've done other projects. So. In such an attitude where anyhow I wanted to combine DIY, poetry, 
exploration using probes, either artistic or scientific ones. Also very much inspired by object-oriented philosophies and post-humanism and another sense. And anyhow, lots of things that might be very contradictory with one another, but for me, they can be laid out together. So this is kind of a multi-dimensional exploration of a landscape. It's sometimes very data-driven, some other times more personal and result in a lot more poetic things. Anyhow, so it has lots of different artifacts that have emerged in this context. For instance, what I'm wearing now has emerged in this context. This is all DIY clothes made from Faroese uh, sheep's wool. And I have some things with me here. I have my fish, which is Norwegian salty coat. Uh, I would suggest that after the performance you can come closer and maybe you don't mind that the fish or smell the fish just to get a little bit of a feeling of the north. I have pieces of fabric knitted by Faroese sheep's wool that we can maybe touch and some stones and rocks and pieces of love and things that all relate with this particular part of the world. And then you keep the question, okay, how do I present all this material? I've experimented with different things. Eating and cooking is also part of the process, but we won't do it today. And then I built this DIY custom instrument in there that I used to improvise in real time with some of the material that relate with my explorations. And there is also a full-length uh, experimental film of about uh, 70 minutes, which features some of the things you will see today and here today, but also lots of more other things like interviews and such. That's it in the answers. Uh, you can check my website for more. And thank you everybody for inviting me.
já og fyrir þetta myndi, hugleitt um að hver er Jesus Kristur til? Eða er það mögulegt? Er það bara að hugsa þetta? Að frelsari mannlífsins hafi komið og fórna öllu þín vegna og það allt til einsins. Nei, það má ekki svo vera. Horfum til Jesu og lífum. Viðum hann fyrir okkur og lífum að eigum. Thank you. 